Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Dabs of Reality Show. I'm your host, Tom Crawshaw. Today we've got another episode of Your Brain on Drugs, and today we're gonna to be talking about Your Brain on LSD. So we're gonna take a closer look at exactly what happens in the brain when we take LSD and what are some of the benefits and some of the effects that this substance has. Now, before we get into today's video, if you're new here to the channel, as always, hit that subscribe button so you get more of these Your Brain on Drugs episodes. We're gonna be rolling them out. And uh, let's start the conversation. Is there another substance that you want me to dive deeper into the science on? And do you have an experience that you want to share? Maybe I will feature an episode of everyone's experiences that have commented on this video and other videos on psychedelics. So if you share your story, maybe I'll be sharing it on my channel soon. So let me just jump into the disclaimer. So listen, this is just purely for educational and harm reduction purposes. This information is my own research and my own experience. And uh, if you do choose to engage in some of these substances, just know that they are illegal pretty much across the board. And I'm trying to give you as much information as I can so you stay safe. So LSD, which is also called lysergic acid dimethylamide, it was actually discovered accidentally by the legend himself, Albert Hoffman, who had discovered so many of the psychedelics in use today, so many of the synthetic psychedelics. And it was discovered in 1938. Albert must have been handling some kind of fungus that grew on rye. And obviously he must have started having some hallucinations or some bodily sensations. Obviously he was not in the right state of mind and he realized that, wow, I've just stumbled across some new psychedelic, which he then later went on to synthesize in the laboratory. And somehow, some way, the LSD got out of the lab into the hands of the free thinking hippies of the 60s. And unfortunately, thanks to people like Timothy Leary, who was a staunch advocate of psychedelic use uh, in psychiatry. And uh, unfortunately, the US government uh, scheduled it as a schedule one drug that had no benefits, no therapeutic application and a massive opportunity for harm. Now with harm and LSD, we know that that's just not true. The only harm that LSD can have on you is the actions that you take when you're under the influence. Now the toxicology of LSD is, well, you pretty much can't kill yourself. You'd have to take so many tabs, uh, I think the amount was like 12,000 micrograms. It's unlikely that you're gonna die from an overdose, it's gonna be almost impossible, but for the actions that you take while you're tripping, it's, this is why it's so important to have a sitter, as someone who is sober that can look after you and make sure that you don't do something, maybe bang your head or maybe try and jump out of the window. You know, these things have happened and have caused you know, people to die in the past. Now, how does LSD work on the brain? So we know that it works with the serotonin system, the dopamine system, the adrenogenic system, the adrenaline system, and the glutamate system. So this is a pretty vast cocktail of neurotransmitters that LSD is working with here. And they govern so many of the functions of the body. Um, more specifically, you know, we know that dopamine and serotonin are linked to feelings of pleasure, of happiness, of connection, of empathy, of contentedness. And these are some of the sensations that you'll probably come across on LSD. Now, one of the things that stands out for LSD is the, the fairly long half-life. So the amount of time that it takes LSD to break down to 50% concentration in the body. Now a typical LSD trip, if you're taking maybe 100 micrograms, 150 micrograms, the trip's gonna last maybe eight to 12 hours, maybe even longer. You know, the residual effects of most psychedelics tend to hang around for a few hours after the sort of the trip window has elapsed. And at least from my own perspective, LSD is seen as a little bit of a scarier psychedelic than others like psilocybin and DNT 
just because of the extended time period that you're going to be under the influence. And obviously with more time is more possibility for some challenging experiences and some potentially bad trip style experiences as well. So I'm gonna list on screen some of the things that you can expect when ingesting, let's say around 200 micrograms of LSD, which is a pretty strong trip. Now in a previous video, I have mentioned that that's kind of the average dosage per tap, but um, that's not always the case. In fact, a lot of street LSD might have 60 micrograms in. Maybe they were claiming it's got 100 or 150, I don't know. But um, you just gotta be careful with your source and uh, making sure to test and uh, starting with low dosages and working your way up. So here are the things that you can kind of expect and I'll flash these on the screen. So you're gonna expect euphoria, body rushes and warmth, kind of like an underwater feeling, which is quite common with most psychedelics. Uh, colors and lights are enhanced. Surfaces and walls, they start to move and breathe. You have rapidly changing thoughts with possible confusion. Your brain becomes more aware of pretty much everything. You experience open and closed eye visuals, including patterns, geometry, faces. You have spiritual realizations and experiences and moments that seem to last for eternity. Now, if your dose is higher, you can expect more intense hallucinations. You can expect potentially ego death, which could be quite scary for some people because it resembles like literally actually dying in your mind. You could have an out of body experience, but these kind of higher doses are for those individuals who have way more experience with LSD than let's say the first time user. So let's take a look at what's actually happening inside the brain. So there's a recent study being done in 2016 by Robin Carthart Harris and uh, his gang of psychedelic researchers at the Imperial College London. I believe this is the first ever experiment to show with an fMRI what's happening inside the brain on LSD. So as you can see on the image on the screen, way more of the brain is lit up when the user is on LSD. It's like an explosion of communication linking areas of the brain that don't usually talk. So this study discovered that many other areas of the brain get involved in things like visual processing. So the visual cortex is at the back of the brain, but we see that there is huge amounts of activity all over the brain, suggesting that different parts of the brain are now involved in the visual processing. So this is really interesting because this links to explanations of hallucinations and how people can sometimes you know, hear colors and see sounds, you know, those kinds of sensory mismatch, right? So we see the usual separateness of different systems in the brain like hearing, vision, and movement. We see these systems break down and we see them shift to a unity model of the brain where the brain is having this cross talk, this communication going on that doesn't usually happen. So Dr. Carhart Harris explains, our results suggest that this effect underlies the profound altered state of consciousness that people often describe during an LSD experience. It is also related to what people sometimes call ego disillusion, which means the normal sense of self is broken down and replaced by a sense of reconnection with themselves others and the natural world. And this experience is sometimes framed in a religious or a spiritual way and seems to be associated with improvements in well-being after the drug's effects have subsided. And uh, I definitely concur. This is quite a universal experience across most psychedelics. We have this breakdown of ourselves and uh, kind of the, the pieces get put back together again after we see the entirety of our amazing selves. So LSD helps us actually think outside of the box, helps us think creatively, specifically when microdosing, and I'm gonna link that video in the description as well as flash it on the screen. I tried microdosing for 30 days and I share my results of what happened there. Things like improved focus, improved attention, improved creativity. So LSD essentially helps us break down those areas of the brain that have been rigid. 
You know, as we grow up and as we mature as adults, we seem to have a, a more fixed, a more rigid way of thinking. Now, LSD helps to break down that rigidity and bring back a more childlike brain activity of, of playfulness, of flexibility, of creativeness, of thinking outside of the box and, and making connections where connections didn't previously exist. And finally, I want to quote Professor David Nutt. He was one of the senior researchers on this study. He said, scientists have been waiting 50 years for this moment, the revealing of how LSD alters our brain biology. For the first time, we can really see what's happening in the brain during the psychedelic state and can better understand why LSD has such a profound impact on self-awareness in users and on music and art. And this could have great implications for psychiatry and helping patients overcome conditions such as depression. I personally think that there is massive potential for LSD in a therapeutic setting along with many other psychedelics. But um, this just about wraps up today's video. I hope you found this insightful and interesting, like looking inside the brain when someone is on LSD, absolutely fascinating. So listen guys, appreciate you tuning in, watching the video all the way through to the end, like you are here right now. And I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback. Drop me a comment below, let me know what was your favorite part of this video and if there's a specific substance you want me to talk about in another one of these videos. That's all from me, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I know your time is extremely valuable. So if you've enjoyed today's content, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you get a notification next time I release another one of these videos. You can also leave me a comment below and let me know what part of this video resonated the most with you or simply click that like button to let me know you enjoyed this content. And if you wanna get your hands on a free 12 minute guided meditation that I recorded to help you manifest your dreams and create whatever you want in your life, go ahead and click the link in the description for your free download. And if you wanna check out all the latest blog posts on my blog, dabsofreality.com, the link is down there below as well, along with my Instagram and my Facebook page if you wanna consider following me on those platforms. Until next time, catch you on the flip side.